Hi everyone, this is Brenda here. So before we begin the 100 request Clan Castle Troops Madness, I'd like to mention that the video is sped up by two times because the footage is very long, it's roughly 28 minutes long and I do not want to bore you guys too much and certainly it's going to be very long to talk about it too. So I'm going to go ahead to begin with my first request. So for the next subsequent request, I'm going to type in the numbers and the number of requests that I've actually been doing. So I'm in the 200 club whereby it's actually a request and leave clan. So for those of you who want free archers, free minions or in fact free wizards, you guys can come along and to just join the clan as I'll put the clan tag in the description below so that you guys can come ahead to join us and also just request and to leave and not to come into chat. So certainly this is something that I'm just doing for fun. It's not like I'm trying to do this to level up my account because uh, certainly this is not going to allow you to gain any experience point to level up your account. So this is just something I'm doing uh, for the sake of just showing you guys something really amazing as to how fast the clan castle troops can be filled up in your clan castle in this particular clan itself. So this clan is a very amazing clan whereby you guys can see that my clan castle is being filled in just a couple of seconds, in just less than 10 seconds, my clan castle is really filled with archers, minions and also sometimes wizards. So the people here, they do uh, donate a lot. As for me, I'm just going here to uh, donate and help out at the same time, make some friends. So the people here, they are very nice. So I really urge you guys to come over here to help them out and support them because a lot of them, they are trying to push their level too. So I really urge you guys to come ahead to uh, request and then after that just leave the clan and not to uh, stay in the clan for too long. So certainly this is something that I'm doing for fun and of course to just uh, uh, make it feel that as if they are going to be able to level up much faster. But certainly the experience point that they're going to get from this 100 request isn't uh, enough to actually gain most of them one level each because uh, for them like being a level 200 to just increase by one level they need like a 9000 over uh, experience points so it's certainly not going to be enough even to get one person to uh, increase by one level but certainly this is something I'm just doing for fun itself as mentioned I'm not trying to uh, show off any of my uh, gems or whatsoever so this is really fun, I mean just coming in to request, especially taking into consideration that uh, by doing this, I do have to uh, focus a lot to remove the troops. So I have to remove the troops quick enough, otherwise this video is going to be in fact 2 hours or 3 hours long. So I do not want to uh, make it uh, too long, so definitely I have to request that after that jam up my clan castle and then eventually I have to remove the troops. Because I cannot just uh, spam the request uh, button because uh, the troops will just be stuck over there. So it's certainly uh, quite uh, tedious to actually do this but it was quite fun especially when uh, before this I sent out a clan mail asking them whether they are up for this particular challenge itself. So they were all ready and of course uh, they were more focused on my clan castle instead of the other uh, clan castles. So they were trying to spam my clan castle way 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 much quicker just to show you guys how quick that they could actually fill up the clan castle troops. So it's just really fun that these uh, guys over here they are doing this just for the sake of a uh, video and especially I do find it fun to do this kind of stuff with them so certainly this is something that I don't urge a lot of you guys to do because it costs a bomb of an amount of gems so it would cost like a total of 32 times 100 which is 3200 gems which is certainly a it's quite a, a substantial amount especially for those people who do not rely on gems to uh, do any of their stuff but I mean uh, just to have some fun spending 3200 gems just to entertain you guys and also to be able to have some fun in the 200 club is certainly worth it all because uh, I mean to me I'm really uh, happy and also willing to spend money on people who I find uh, really worthy to spend on rather than to spend money and in fact uh, to waste money on uh, people who I feel that is not worthy to spend on or in fact to uh, waste money on like a uh, gambling or in fact to take the money to, to go to clubbing or to pubs to, to spend it on unnecessary stuff. So I really feel that although this is a game, I know a lot of you guys will still say that this is just a game, why am I spending so much money on a game? But I mean a game is a game and it's a form of entertainment so if I'm able to spend this amount of money just on a game to entertain people and also myself, I would feel that it's worthy and worthwhile rather than to take like a few thousand dollars to go ahead to go to a club or in fact go to a pub to spend it on drinks to spend it on whatever unnecessary stuff which would definitely damage my body in the long term and in the future 
So certainly I do not like to uh, go and do those kind of stuff and in fact I do not go for those kind of branded stuff whereby those expensive luxury stuff which would cost a bomb to go ahead to get especially when I do not fancy this kind of stuff. For me I'm just a simple person whereby I'm uh, contented with life even if I'm not uh, going to be able to get all those luxury stuff and of course I know a lot of you guys have uh, also mentioned that I've been spending a lot of money on Clash so yeah I mean Clash is a game that I really love I'm really passionate about because it's a game that's really really fun for me and also just to give you guys a heads up which is uh, Supercell because of their indeed effort and hard work that they have put in into making Clash such an amazing game. I'm really willing to uh, fork out the money to actually uh, sponsor, not say sponsor but support their whole entire business because uh, I mean you have to take into consideration that Supercell eventually it is still a company to uh, get some earnings and to increase their profits, their annual profits. So of course it's really really important for them to focus on earning money. So people such as me and also those people who jam up their base to a max base uh, who actually spend like 13,000 uh, USD to actually uh, max their base, those people are actually crazy. I've never thought of spending that huge amount of money on a game but certainly those people, I mean to them, maybe 13,000 is just peanuts to them, you do not know. So of course, it's just to support this particular company whereby who has done an amazing job to make such an amazing game for all of, all of us to enjoy and to play. You have to understand that although this is a free game to actually download to play, but certainly we need people who actually spend money to keep up with the whole entire updates because I mean if you are the one who are, you are the boss of Supercell and then you realize that everybody is just a playing a free game and you are not making any money, would you want to continue your company? I doubt so because the ultimate goal of a, a company is basically to make money. So certainly people such as me, myself, or in fact those people who are in the top leaders board and also those people who spend a lot of money in, on this particular game itself, it's really really uh, important that uh, Supercell do have to keep in mind that we are the ones supporting them in this particular uh, business that they actually are doing. I'm not trying to uh, talk myself up as in to make myself feel, uh, make you guys think that I'm uh, rather superior in this game or whatsoever. But it's basically the truth which is uh, if, if people do not purchase gems and uh, Supercell do not earn any money, I don't think they will want to be uh, continuing to do any more updates for us because the employees do have to be paid. Those uh, The employers do have to earn their profits too. So it's certainly important for us to actually go ahead to help to uh, support them a little bit by maybe buying a few chests of gems or a few bags of gems or a few sacks of gems or a few piles of gems. Certainly if you guys really love the game that much and really really want to support the game, I would feel that that's the way that you could actually support the game and also to improve your gameplays too. So i just like to put out a small little disclaimer which is I'm not here to help Supercell to promote any of their gems, purchase or whatsoever. I'm just here as a normal player like all of you guys and also just a YouTuber like most of the YouTubers here. So I'm just here as a normal player not here to promote any of their stuff or whatsoever to, and I'm not associated with Supercell in any way. I'm not being on any VIP list. Although you guys know that I spent quite a bit of an amount of uh, money on this particular game but I'm not associated with Supercell in any particular way so don't get me wrong I'm not here to promote any of their stuff any of their products so just want to mention to you guys that although uh, a lot of people have said that I've spent a lot of money on this particular game and it's just a game I mean you do have to take in consideration that it is something that I would really love to actually spend my money on rather than to waste it on something else so it really depends on one person's uh, opinion on what a game and also how much he or she wants to spend on a game. That truly depends on how much he or she has as a spending power. So I just want to show you guys something that actually happened to this whole entire footage which is after requesting for 69 times. I actually had this uh, issue which is the client and the server sync issue. So I had to uh, restart my footage again and just continue recording again. So for some reason Supercell actually hates the number 69. But yeah, we're going to carry on to request again as to just uh, continue to get all the way to 3500 troops received. So this whole entire footage as mentioned is around 28 minutes long. So yeah, in roughly 28 minutes, I was able to get like 3,500 troops uh, received. 
So this is just something uh, that uh, nobody, I doubt anybody has done before because this is just totally insane and also very tiring to go ahead to remove the troops. I mean, if you are, even if you are as quick as me to actually remove the troops, you would have to be in this particular clan to actually do this kind of stuff to be able to uh, request and also get your clan castle filled really, really quickly. So another thing that I like to talk about which is uh, I know a lot of you guys have uh, stated in the comments saying that uh, I've spent been spending too much on this particular game itself but you do have to consider the fact that different people consider value of money as to be different like for example if you take someone who is like a billionaire or millionaire if you ask him to spend like 10,000 on this particular game he'll just feel that it's just peanuts to him Whereas uh, compared to someone who is like uh, living an average uh, lifestyle, average, average income, if you ask him to spend like uh, say 50 bucks on this particular game, he will just uh, feel that it's way too expensive. So of course it really depends on how much spending power, how much buying power you can actually uh, have to determine whether the value of money is really way too much. I mean those people who actually jam up their base from nothing to a max Town Hall 10, they certainly have spent like 13,000 uh, United States dollars. So so it's very expensive to actually jam up your base from 0 to a max Town Hall 10 and certainly there are many people who have done that especially if you take a look at their profile, their profiles go grab and also their elixir escapade is just like under, under 100 million but they have max bases there are so many people who have actually done that so maybe to them like a 13,000 USD is really not even 1% of their whole net worth maybe not even a 0.1% I mean if like for example you are the prince of Saudi Arabia or in fact you are like the owner of a Qatar Airways for example being uh, worth so much money I don't think you uh, spending in fact a million dollars on this game will make it feel that as if it's going to cost you a life a crisis in your whole entire financial situation so you do have to consider that those people who are actually uh, spending a lot of money maybe they are buying power in fact their net worth is very high so for those of you who are actually wondering how am i able to spend all this kind of money is because uh, all this money is all earned and all through savings so of course it's savings not as if it's life savings or whatsoever because uh, spending life saving on a game is certainly a stupid idea and of course uh, if i'm going ahead to get loan or to uh, borrow money to go ahead to play this particular game just to fund my this uh, game itself i don't think that's a good idea too because uh, getting loan to go ahead to play a game i also feel that it's a stupid idea i mean if you are living such a um, not a good life already and you are in financial difficulty and you still want to spend so much on a game or something unnecessary I would feel that it is really stupid of you so it's really important to take note that if you are able to spend do spend within your limits and not to spend over it and also to take in consideration that uh, everybody of us every one of us we have different spending and different buying power so of course I'm not here to actually show off to flaunt any of my stuff because I certainly do not want uh, you guys to think that way. I'm just trying to explain myself that different people have different aspect and different mindset of the value of money. So certainly for those of you who have been wondering why and how am I able to spend all this much, it's basically all through earnings, all through savings and all through other means of funding it. And of course it's not through sponsoring. I do not go to third party uh, companies or in fact uh, go and look for any sponsors because I I don't feel that that's actually right in fact those kind of uh, apps whereby you actually are able to get like free points or whatsoever I would feel that that's not right too so as you guys can see I did a hundred requests hundred requests has been done I'm gonna go ahead to check out the number of troops received so at 3628 troops received in just uh, 828 minutes so that's really good and also that's it for this particular hundred request hope you guys have enjoyed and certainly i have enjoyed requesting and removing the troops for the sake of this whole entire video for all of you guys to enjoy and also for the 200 club to enjoy a bit of the exp gain so that's it for this uh, particular short later not short but very long uh, requesting video and also the slight jamming video hope you guys have enjoyed if you have do hit the like button and also to share with your friends share with your clan mates so that they could get a hint as to what I'm actually trying to get a message out not in terms of how much I'm actually spending or how much people are actually spending on a game but I'm just trying to get my message out that uh, without uh, people such as uh, those people who are actually playing on the leader spot to actually spend 
money on this particular game, Supercell would certainly not want to continue to produce and make new updates for us because there is no profits for them, there is no reason for them to continue to uh, make updates and certainly they won't be able to feed themselves and also to get their salary or whatsoever earnings that they are actually uh, able to get. So yeah, that's it for this video, hope you guys have enjoyed. So with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.